Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dan from VHIX411 and in this video I will show you how we change a VIN in a donor or used ECU. If you can see in front of me I have original, I have a donor ECU, I already opened them up, I read the EEPROM data from the original and EEPROM data from the donor. Now, Customer tried programming with every aftermarket scan tool possible that said it can be done, was not successful. They took this vehicle to the dealer, dealer written the VIN, but it was written not everywhere. And when you hook up a scan tool or go to DQ, it shows the VIN number of a previous car, the previous car this, that they purchased the donor from. So quick video, got everything set up, got rid of everything red. It's gonna be a quick one. I will show you what I'm talking about to begin. Uh, if you can see, here's my four scan, four scan uh, scanner. If you can see, this is the VIN number we desire to have in it. This is the original customer's VIN number. Dealer changed it to different location. Great, this is the portion of the transmission side. This is the powertrain, which is the ECU side. And then here's one side where the diagnostic computer, the scanner reads, picks up and decodes the car a VIN number. <clears throat> and in this case, you can see the VIN number hasn't been changed and it pulls up a whole different car. Uh, Forescan does have an option when you go to vehicle ID block. Here, let me power up actually and show you what the mean. Full power ignition off. See right here, it has an option you can actually change whatever the VIN number you want. Now, in this case, I already changed the VIN number of a vehicle and it still didn't change. It only changes these locations. This location, not possible to change with the scan tool. Now, if the dealer told you it can't be done, they're correct. Their tools won't do it. Now, I had to open this guy up. I will be using my car probe for this. If you can see, this is the guy. I will read the EPROM and we will change it. Now, if you don't have the original ECU, we can still read the EEPROM of a donor ECU and modify the VIN number. Now, let me pull up my car pro. I'll read this again. Now, again, I already told you I saved the original and the donor VIN number data or EEPROM data. <clears throat> and we'll be writing it shortly. So if you can see, when you read the EEPROM of a donor, here's the VIN number, here's the culprit, 3056, we don't want this. This is the VIN number that the dealer changed, and this is what pulls up partially. This is what Forescan writes, this is what the Autel writes. Even if you do PMI transfer, as build sheet, you whatever you wanna do, it does not want to transfer this data. Now it's always best to transfer copy and paste like the way I did it, just did it right now. EEPROM, reading it and writing it. Why? Because PMI, VID, coding, if it's a different car you see you, everything will be read and transferred. That way everything that was in your original car will be transferred in it. Now let me go to my five, one. This is the original ECU data, EEPROM data. And if you can see, this is the VIN number we need. This is the VIN number we need. And of course the coding, everything else also changed. And I will click write. <clears throat> and we're gonna write the original data information into our donor ECU. Now that's easy. All you have to do is just open up and read and write. Now, if you do need this service done, you don't have a scan tool or for scan or hotel, whatever, we can do it. I will leave a link below in the description or at the end of the video, I will leave a link. And while it's finishing up writing, we will hook up our scan, uh, for scan again and we will try reading, make sure it changed the VIN number. So, let it finish writing now if you like this video do subscribe like it share it and hopefully this thing will write soon <clears throat> i also made a video that this ecu we changed the flash data for a customer because the same particular part number ecu is in a 5.0 mustang 
and also in a 2013 Ford F-150. So hardware is same, but the software is totally different. The customer could not change it. They shipped it out somewhere. They couldn't change that also. And of course, I have a lot of tools like Hexport, Abritas, and all that. Couldn't change it also. I literally resorted to a Russian PCM flasher, and that thing was able to actually change the flash, read and write. That's a separate video. I do have that video. I'll be posting that shortly. Now, we written our data. Let me unplug this guy right here. I will power it on, and I'll go to my four scan, and let's disconnect. Let me just shut it off. And we'll restart from the beginning. I'll hook it up right now. Okay, communication with the vehicle established. Now let's see if we are able to read all three VINs that we need. Now, like I said, if you need the service, link below. If you do have a EEPROM reader, you can read it and write it. Now, some of these newer cars you won't be able to read it and write and change it with just with, with an EEPROM reader. Some of these have internal flash EEPROM, which you need to read the flash data and then modify that. But that's a separate video here. Configuration, so we got VIN number one, VIN number two, VIN number three. Now this guy can actually pass the EQ. This guy can take the car to any mechanic. They will be able to identify the car and work on the car properly. So this is how we change the VIN number in a donor used ECU that was not possible. Now it is possible. You need the service done, like I said, link below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.